Hello everyone and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Leo looks for answers, the early love story of Tom and Alice. The Wednesday, February 21st episode of Days of Our Lives is expected to center on the events following the Horton House fire, according to spoilers. Maggie Kiriakis will begin by agreeing to go over the damage with Julie Williams and Doug Williams, Bill Hayes, fans of DOL will also witness John Black and Marlena Evans pitch in to assist with cleanup, so in spite of the tragedy, there will be some beautiful moments shared. Kate Roberts Brady and Roman Brady Leo Stark, Thomas DiMera, and Chad DiMera will also be present at the burned out Horton home. Leo, speaking of which, will question Julie regarding the background of the Horton family and their home. According to teasers for days, Julie will eventually relate the tale of how Tom and Alice Horton fell in love. Watchers of days will be able to witness the couple on a picnic during the start of their romance thanks to some adorable fake flashbacks featuring young Alice and young Tom. In a recently produced flashback of when he first moved in with Alice, Tom will also bring his new bride across the threshold. We'll also see the first Horton Christmas ornaments. It's wonderful news that a vintage box with some sentimental value will be recovered once the rubble is cleared out, according to spoilers for days. Julie has every right to be happy that those memories will be kept for next generations. Considering how worried Chad and the kids have been about losing those old pictures of Abigail DiMera, there might even be some in that antique box. Regardless, despite the recent devastation caused by the fire, there will be some amazing indications of hope. It will be interesting to observe what modifications arise throughout the Horton House reconstruction, which is scheduled for the upcoming months. Keep checking back for updates on the work Julie will be overseeing to restore the Horton Mansion, as revealed by spoilers on Days of Our Lives. Sloan and Connie nearby blab too much. The spoilers for Tuesday, February 20's episode of Days of Our Lives indicate that Brady Black confided in Marlena Evans about his disastrous Valentine's Day date with Rachel Black, Finley Rose Slater, and Marlena emphasized the need of not fighting in front of his kid. Brady was aware of it, but he also admitted to being driven insane every time he managed to get close to Kristen DiMera, Stacey Hayduke, and she drove him over the brink. Brady felt his son was blaming him for not being around when he was younger when he thought back on Tate Black's, Jamie Martin Mann, letter to him being colder than the one he gave Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, on Tuesday's episode of Days. Marlena, on the other hand, told Brady that Tate loved him and thought Brady was just using his dad as a convenient scapegoat for all the problems in their relationship. When Robert Scott Wilson's character Alex Kiriakis arrived home, Teresa was packing and shouting at a phone attendant at the Salem Inn. Even though there were no rooms left, Teresa made it plain that she was leaving. Alex objected and made an attempt to clarify that he was only trying to take his time with the proposition. Upon attending a support group for individuals in partnerships with addicts, Alex came to the realization that he needed to apply the brakes. Alex yelled at Teresa to stop and proposed marriage, but she felt like he was suggesting she was too much to handle and made her way to the door. Teresa understood without a doubt that it was not a true marriage proposal. Teresa was not interested because it was merely a pity party proposal made out of remorse. Teresa behaved like this minor incident wasn't that significant and threw her key at Alex as she left with her bag, alluding to Alex's fears that she may lose it and relapse. Teresa then showed up at the townhouse on Tuesday's episode of Days and requested to stay in Tate's room because she was heading out early the next day to see Tate with Brady. After learning that Teresa had abandoned Alex, Marlena made the decision to see Alex and see if he needed someone to talk to. Thank goodness for the late-night therapy session, Alex was able to talk about his worries about Teresa's addiction and becoming a stepfather, as well as the disastrous proposal. Marlena recognized that even though Alex loved Teresa, his love wasn't unwavering and that he needed to act in his own best interests. When Brady returned, he also learned that Teresa had found the ring and was furious that Alex had not proposed in person. Brady questioned Teresa's love for Alex, which made her hesitate before posing the issue of why else she would want to wed him. Brady made the vulgar but admittedly uninspiring suggestion that Alex's recent wealth might have had a role. Teresa had a flashback about discovering Xander Cook's, Paul Telfer, inheritance and plotting to change it to Alex's. However, Teresa seemed to be angry when Brady called her a gold digger. Brady offered Teresa a hug, said he was sorry she was in pain, and assured her that she could always rely on him. 
Teresa appeared moved and turned to go to the bedroom, but she paused to look back at Brady. Roman Brady, Josh Taylor, gave Kate Roberts Brady, Lauren Coslow, reassurance that Lucas Horton, Brian DeTillo, was safe in the pub on Tuesday's DOL episode before treating her to a special meal for two. Roman didn't mind that Kate hadn't bought him a Valentine's Day gift, especially after they had danced together and she had whispered in his ear about the surprise she was going to give him in the bedroom. Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, who had been with Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, took her home and urged her to relax. All Ava wanted to do before returning to the hospital was take a shower and drink some espresso. Stefan contended that since it might find its way back to Clyde Weston, James read, Ava couldn't be standing about wringing her hands over Harris Michaels, Steve Burton. When Ava ultimately gave in, she promised to text Lucas Adams's character Trip Johnson to act as her eyes and ears. But Trip wasn't responding to texts, so Ava said that wasn't like him. Ava was also rumored to be plotting to exact revenge on the person who had mistreated Harris, but Stefan gave the impression that they might never hear back, particularly if Harris didn't wake up. Given that Ava was holding out, she didn't want Stefan to speak in that manner. I hoped Harris would recover. Ava wasn't hungry and appeared dubious of Stefan's kindness when he attempted to prepare her an omelet. Ava questioned Stefan's motivations, but he pretended to be merely trying to be kind. After a while Ava received a call from the hospital informing her that Trip had not arrived for his shift, she promptly informed Stefan of the concerning information. Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, and Sloane Peterson Brady, Jessica Surfity, met at Small Bar on Tuesday's episode of Days. Connie Vinisky, Julie Dove, interrupted to criticize Melinda over Lee Shin's, Remington Hoffman, passing. Recalling that Connie had once been Sloane's customer, Sloane believed Connie was insane for believing Lee was her true love after just one encounter. Sloane picked up her conversation with Melinda as Connie stomped off, continuing to scream about the baby taking center stage in Eric Brady's, Greg Vaughn, life. Sloane, who was beginning to drink, once said that she wasn't Jude Brady's biological mother because they had taken him away from Nicole DiMera, Ariane Zucker. Melinda encouraged Sloane to quiet her critics and begin to value her life with Eric and Jude. Melinda cautioned Sloane against confiding in anyone else since the secret may blow everything if it leaked. Melinda left, and while Connie looked on from across the room, Sloane ordered another drink. It hinted that Connie might have heard more than Sloane and Melinda had meant to. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Sloane will undoubtedly cause more problems, so keep an eye on DOL. Days of Our Lives spoilers for the week of February 19th are in. Expect Brady Black, Eric Martzolf, and Teresa Donovan to visit Tate Black. A vintage box is discovered. Trip Johnson, Lucas Adams, and Wendy Shin, Victoria Grace, are kidnapped. Plus, Leo Stark, Greg Rickard, asks Julie Williams, Susan Seaforth Hayes, about the history of Salem's royalty. DOL spoilers for the week of February 19th reveal that Brady and Teresa pay Tate a visit. Tate is still in southern Illinois at the rehab facility. So, Brady will leave Salem, but it's unclear if fans will see what happens or if visiting Tate is done off-screen. Since the soap doesn't have a great budget, it's probably off-screen. With Teresa angry over Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, non-proposal, she could turn to Brady once again.